Hello grade 10s and welcome back to this series on particles substances are made of. In the topic chemical bonding, we learned that substances can undergo three types of chemical bonding, namely covalent bonding, ionic bonding and metallic bonding. Today we will have a look at metallic bonding in more detail. Let us join Diasha as she has a close-up look at a metal. Would you be surprised if I told you that this is what the inside of a metal looks like. This is a micrograph of a metal. It is a type of photograph taken by a scanning electron microscope. The atoms have been magnified millions of times and that is why we can see them. Atoms are the basic building blocks of all elements. This is not the picture you have in your minds of what an atom looks like, is it? This is because atoms are so small that even if they are magnified millions of times, like here, we still can't see the actual structure of atoms. So, scientists have developed models to represent them, and those are the pictures that we are familiar with. So, let's recap what we know about the structure of atoms. This is a helium atom, represented by the Bohr model. It shows us that an atom consists of three subatomic particles called protons, neutrons and electrons. Protons are positively charged and have mass. Neutrons are neutral. They have no charge but they also have exactly the same mass as protons. A very strong force holds these two subatomic particles, the protons and the neutrons, together in the nucleus. The nucleus is in the center of the atom. This is the part that gives the atom its mass. The electrons are small. One electron has a mass that is more than a thousand times smaller than a proton. But the charge of an electron is the same size as the charge on the proton. The difference is protons are positive and electrons are negatively charged. When there are the same number of protons and electrons, the atom is neutral. Now the electrons are not found in the nucleus. They are found a long way away from the center of the atom. But the electrons are continually moving around the nucleus. In this way, the electrons give the atom its volume. In a metallic bond, a lattice forms. A lattice is an orderly arrangement of atoms in a crystal. The atoms are arranged almost like bricks in a wall, a regular, repetitive and ordered arrangement. You should remember that metal atoms are arranged in a simple lattice structure. The outer electrons of each atom are free to move between the different atoms. So the lattice is actually made of positively charged nuclei. In this topic, we will have a look at different types of lattices that form as a result of different types of bonding that takes place inside the compound. The lattices will differ because of the particles that make up the building blocks of the lattice. In a metallic lattice, it is important to note that it is only the positive nucleus of each atom that is held rigidly in the lattice and is unable to move. The free movement of electrons throughout the metallic lattice is the reason why metals are such good conductors of electricity, as the electrons are free to move through the metal. When metal atoms lose their outer electrons to form a lattice of regularly spaced positive ions, and the outer electrons form a delocalized pool of electrons that surround the positive ions, the atoms are bonded by metallic bonding and the collection of atoms that results is called a metal. We have reached the end of today's lesson. Make sure to attempt question 2 of the task video at the end of this series as that question relates to today's lesson. You can also find out more information on this topic at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Join me in the next lesson when we will have a look at the next model of bonding and its resulting letters. Until then, goodbye.